What's going on YouTube? Brandon Griggs here at Keynote Comics. You know the place where you can discover comic books and comic book related content. And we're back here with an unboxing, something we haven't done in a while because as of lately, we have not been dropping content. But this is something different. This is not comic books. This is comic book art, which comparably, I guess, goes with the comic book related content, you know? And quite frankly, this isn't gonna be my second piece of original comic book art. So I'm super excited to own this piece. Now, how I came across this piece is basically because, well, I've talked to you guys before about on, on this, you know, this channel that I really, really enjoyed um, Space Bandits. And basically, the artist that did the artwork for Space Bandits actually did the artwork for this piece that I got here. But it's not a Space Bandits piece. This was actually something I was going to go get. I was going to get the Space Bandits piece. But then he posted this piece on his page on Instagram. And I actually reached out to uh, the seller or the dealer that he works with, you know, that sells his art and stuff. Um, so shout outs to Josh at Essential Crescentials. Essential Crescentials. Am I saying that right? Essential Quincentials. I might be, I might be butchering it, but you know. Maybe the name's here. Slam Slam can, you know, yeah. Um, but yes, I, I really got to, you know, give a shout out to Josh because this piece was not even available on the website. I just happened to reach out to him with the inquiry and was like, hey, and, you know, I'm interested in this piece. You got it. He's like, nah, I don't get it, but I'll reach out to uh, Mateo. Uh, so that's what happened. This is, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to, you know, get in and I'll, might, I might wrap a little bit as uh, we're getting into this box, but uh, let's see. Shipped by FedEx. Um, so it's to open here, but it doesn't seem like it wants to tear really. Okay, maybe that would have. Got it. But uh, yeah, so Maceo, he did the artwork on um, Space Bandits. Uh, there's several Mateo, uh, Mateos. Uh, Ooh, okay. Now I see. Not roll. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. Uh, I, I thought it was small, but then I noticed that the size of the box was actually, you know, the size of the box. You know what? I'm overanalyzing. <laughs> but uh, I hope I'm saying Mateo's, uh, Mateo's uh, last name correctly. Uh, I believe it is Sicleria uh, or something close to that but if you guys if I am saying it wrong definitely you know go and look it up all right um, but yeah I'm definitely gonna try and get a piece of his original artwork from Space Bandits at uh, some point not quite sure when, but I have a couple pieces that I'm, I've been eyeing. Um, okay. What was that? I think it's yeah, yeah. I just had to figure out a starting point because I was like, I don't know where I'm at in here. But. I was like, oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> nah. Jason is a professional. I, I know. I, I didn't have to question whether or not this was gonna, you know, arrive safely, packaged or whatnot. Like he does this. Like he's got a lot of, um, you know, big comic book artists that he sells their artwork for. So, like I said, check out his website. Um, and you know, who knows, maybe some of your favorite artists might be through there. And one of the things I wanted to bring up is I believe, you know, the prices that he's asking for the pieces, you know, are, you know, reasonable. There's not, they are fairly pricey. I did have to pay a decent amount for this, but I didn't think it was an unreasonable price at that. So. Gotta get these surgery hands here. But uh, this is actually a cover art for the recent um, Wonder Girl issue six that came out. 
on literally this week. Came out on Tuesday. First job. Yeah. Ah, there we go. So maybe I can. Think we can get this in the shot? Get it in there for me. I did as much as I could, but it didn't <laughs> focus. <laughs> All right. So hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, Like I said, yeah, I saw this on his Instagram page. He had literally, actually, no, I don't think I hit up Jason about it until, I don't know, maybe a month or a month and a half after it had been posted. But I was just, you know, in the market to start buying some stuff. So you guys know I went and got the, um, what was it? Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, so the first Punisher appearance, and guys, when I paid for that, I did not do it uh, off of brand new money. I'm actually scared to open this now, because it's... adhesive? Yeah. Yeah, I can understand it. Uh, can you give me some scissors? But yeah, so... Shoot, I forgot what I was saying. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, um, I hit him up. A, it was basically a while after, and then I was like, you know, they're probably not gonna uh, be selling it right now, just because. I mean, this was back in August that I had purchased this, right? Yeah. So, uh, we're we're in December now, so that kind of gives you an idea how long it took. But I mean, there's there's reasons for it, you know. Um, and so yeah like I said since it was back in August and the issue literally didn't come out until this week I didn't think they were going to be selling it just because I thought there was a process of you know when books are released and then there's probably you probably couldn't sell artwork for that particular issue until later on but that's not the case alright they got a receipt in there maybe they'll show that but it's <laughs> the day <laughs> Wait, wait, what do you mean? No, the actual name's there, so let you know for sure. Oh, for the artist? No, no, that's a show. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's some nice fancy oh, sequential. package. It's sequential. Yeah, and I, I think that's, I said it, but I was like, uh, I was fumbling. Yeah. And let it be noted that I will definitely uh, be, oh, this is cool. I will definitely be buying from them again. I'll put it like that. So here we go. Uh, certificate of authentication. Yeah. And guys, I also know that it's from him because I actually got to talk to him on Instagram. So I talked to the actual artist about this work and we, he knows it was going to me, so. Nice. Like I said, Jason is a professional. Oh, this shit's cute. This is fire. Here we go, guys. So this is actually the first cover appearance of this character right here. And I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name because I haven't heard anybody say it, but it's spelled P-O-T-I-R-A. Uh, so I don't know if it's Patira or Patira or, you know, like, <laughs> or Patia. I don't, I'm not quite sure, but you know. I really like this artwork because it, you know, it spoke to me. Uh, you can really see the tension between the two uh, characters, and it just felt like they have history. And this is going to be a character that's going to be having a really big impact uh, to Yara's life or story and in general. So 
that's kind of one of the things that really pushed me to want to get this piece and yeah i'm excited to have it so i have the ability i might need to get like a sleeve or something for it i don't know but i mean i think you can fit in there yeah i'm gonna put it in here so um as you guys already know i did have the uh excuse me my first piece of art original comic book art which was um from shuri issue six i could be i believe it's six issue six it which also is, says it on there does it yeah. ah yes it does issue six so issue six has the um first appearance of collision right here and this is literally the first page in that issue and i really like i stumbled upon this uh randomly uh and it was being sold like all issues from it or pages from it were being sold from on eBay and um, this was like literally the first issue in that series that really stuck to me about even enjoying the series like the, the series as a whole felt like a filler but these were actually felt like this was they're really providing something new and fresh to the uh, or, you know creative to the, uh, the storyline so first appearance of the character right here and uh we'll see because the character like i said i read it the character seems like they may potentially come back the crazy part is this book for this appearance is starting to go up like they got people selling it for like 50 to 60 dollars um the average is usually staying like about at least 20 something and nobody's speaking on this so i don't know keep your eyes out on it i have been talking about it it would be on my pick of you know books to pick up just in case but like i said it seems like the character may potentially come back so let's go and we'll see what happens in the future um since we haven't really seen any or shown any stuff lately i did pick up this uh ghost rider number one or western ghost rider number one so i finally got this knocked off my list it was not an ebay pickup so that's why we haven't done an unboxing for it I actually picked it up a little at a local convention and yeah, I'm pretty uh, content with it to an extent, but there's currently a way better copy available and I'm gonna try and possibly pick it up if it's still around by the time I have money to do so. But as usual, so I'm not rambling guys, really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Be sure to check out our other stuff. We just got our CGC books in today, so we're gonna be doing a video for that as well be on the lookout i don't know which one's gonna come out first is it gonna be this is it gonna be that are they gonna come out the same week i don't know but stay tuned and as usual keep us locked in peace